There are competing polls out today in the race for New York governor that paint quite a different picture of the same race. While one has Governor Hochul with a double digit lead, the other has Lee Zeldin pulling within four points. Channel 2's Rob Hackford took a look at both of these today. So Rob, what'd you find out here? Well, Kate, the polls from Siena College and Quinnipiac University both have Governor Hochul leading this race, but how much is where they differ? While Quinnipiac has Congressman Lee Zeldin only trailing by those four points, Siena polling has Hochul with an 11 point lead over her challenger. When Siena conducted a similar poll last month, the governor's lead was 17 points, though, which suggests that Zeldin has made up some ground. Siena pollsters say those gains are the result of more independent upstate and voters in New York City suburbs siding with Zeldin. Among upstate voters, Zeldin leads 48% compared to Hochul's 44%, according to Siena. Now, Quinnipiac, however, found an even greater divide upstate, 52 to 44. They also had Governor Hochul with much less of a lead in New York City and Zeldin with a 20% lead among independent voters. This is a competitive race in New York State. We're seeing Kathy Hochul, governor of New York State, with 50% among likely voters to 46% uh, for Republican challenger Lee Zeldin. So it's a narrow edge that Governor Hochul holds right now over Lee Zeldin, but it certainly puts him within striking distance of her. We've seen the, the lead shrink. Uh, it's still double digits, although barely, uh, but down six points, which is good for Zeldin. Uh, the bad news for Zeldin is he's still down 11 points and there's only three weeks to go. Now, while Siena's polling was more proportionate to New York's overall voter registration, which is 50 percent Democrat, 22 percent Republican and 23 percent independent, Quinnipiac has fewer Democrats and more independent voters who Congressman Zeldin will have to capture a majority of, a, of, of if he wants to win. If you take the average of both polls, though, Governor Hochul would still be up 7.5 percent. But as we've seen over the past couple of months, this race continues to tighten and will be the most competitive gubernatorial race in New York in decades. Kate.